Hi everybody, so we're just here with the Series 1 uh, E-Type 2 Plus 2. Um, just going to do a cold start video, so just to prove that it's cold, I'll just point it there. It's saying 28, 29 because it is a hot day today, the car hasn't been started. If I just put it on top of the block it will come down a little bit. We're down there, 25, 24 at the bottom of the block. Um, so yes, go ahead and start it then please, uh, Joe. Switch it off, please, Joe. And great, thank you. Okay, so welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is the on the road video with the 1966 E Type Series 1 2 Plus 2. And we're here with Joe. Hello, Joe. Um, so, if you haven't watched it already, have a little look at Meet the Owner video, get to know Joe and why she bought the car and why she's in love with it and a little bit sad about selling it, like we all are when we, when we part with something that's been uh, part of the family for so long. Um, so on the road video, so we are just on some back roads now around uh, near where Joe lives, uh, outside of Ely. And um, I've had a little run down here first of all, we had a little run for a couple of miles to go and take some beauty shots. And you know, I've got a lot of experience with E-types, I've been in a lot over the years, own my own and it actually felt really lovely um, suspension felt good uh, there's no um, uh, you know there's no knocks or rattles to worry about that i've heard on the trip we're going over some rough ground on like a back country lane if i just show you here so uh so yeah it's a little bit potholy and things and the car's absorbing it and working really really well um it doesn't have its original engine we would have mentioned that in the uh in the listing it does have a period correct 4.2 <coughs> excuse me um, and it does benefit from having power steering so it's the first e-type that i've ever driven with power steering and does it make a difference it is really really good um, so yeah it's got power steering so joe how does the car feel in terms of its steering to you well, it, compared to a modern car it still feels heavy to me but yeah. i understand compared to an e-type without power steering yeah. it's rather nice and I mean, I can steer it with one hand. Yeah. You don't have to have shoulders like you had to. Um, no, you don't. Work and it all looks good. There's no rattling going from the steering wheel or anything. Of course, this is a desirable manual gearbox. Could you just do a change for us, please, Joe, into third, perhaps? And you just hear it nicely change. I moved the car around earlier on to take some photography. The clutch sort of bites halfway in the middle. Feels good. How does the clutch feel to you, Joe? It's very smooth. Yeah. We've got good oil pressure. Um, the car's warm now. It's got a Kenlo fan fitted and you had an override fitted, didn't you, Joe, to it? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And look, just with ease, we're just overtaking a tractor. And the engine really does sound quite nice and smooth. There's no rattles coming from the engine or anything. Um, so I'll just show you there, we're rock solid. Do we have the fan switched on at the moment, Joe? No. No, so it's a hot day today probably mid 20s and it's rock solid in the middle and the oil pressure is really good so gauges are reading well and as an e-type owner you're always looking at the gauges a lot when you're driving uh, we know what that's like um, but yeah it all seems pretty good and um, what about the brakes joe in terms of um have you how do those feel when you do um, use them very efficient obviously there's a little bit of heat when you first press yeah Good, okay. So in terms of, um, you know, mechanically, 
uh, certainly on my run. Oh, you can hear that little squeaking. Just a little squeaking coming from, from the back. It's just the brakes. It actually went off when Joe pressed the brakes there. Um, so, my, can you just press the brakes again, please, Joe? Yeah, so it's probably just something like a, uh, a disc at the back or so. I don't think it's anything too serious. Just a little squeak because it doesn't really get used much, does it, Joe, no, I guess? Yeah. And this car needs to be used. Um, so, yeah, all in all, it feels really nice. It pulls really well in the gears and it's idling very nicely. Oh, look, we've got a little bit of a maneuver going on here. One of the benefits, no wing mirrors, and you can squeeze through when nobody else can. Exactly, no wing mirrors is a, is a benefit in this case. Um, yeah, and the steering's working really well. Yeah. Can you just keep it in that gear a second, Joe, for yeah. us, please? And so we can just hear the engine a little bit. Seats are really comfortable, aren't they? They are very comfortable. Did you have the seats redone in your time? or no, was it? this is how I bought it bought it like this yeah and uh, colour is I forget exactly what it is it's opalescent silver sand that's right opalescent silver sand and I've had a little look behind here as well and it's got the original uh, opalescent silver sand from the factory so it knows the original uh, it's the original colour uh, I checked the um, cross member the front uh, frames and they match the um, they match the bin plate. Uh, Joe, you said you've got the certificate of authenticity for this car as well. Correct, yeah. So we'll check check those numbers. So this is a genuine original 1966 Series 1 E-Type that handles very beautifully, drives really nicely, and it's got a few little bits to do, but the price will be reflected. And it's a very lovely car. And it's a credit to you, Joe. So we're just on a B road now and uh, as you can see everything is still good in terms of the gauges and we'll just video this run for a minute. Lovely, okay then Joe, well thank you for taking us out on this little test drive. Uh, like I say um, in the other videos, please have a look at the comment section. Uh, don't be frightened, write a little comment, whatever you think about this car, if you love it, if you've had one before, let's get a little conversation going. If you've got any questions, then uh, Joe um, or her husband Mark will be pleased to ask them. So, lovely, thank you very much then, Joe. Okay everybody, so I just thought uh, I'd do a little video. We've been out on the hot day run, as you know. Um, done probably about 10 miles, I guess. Uh, the car is super warm. Um, temperature is just reading above the middle, which is really good. And the Kenlo fan is on automatic, so we haven't switched that fan on. Uh, oil pressure is just under 20, uh, which is also really good, uh, considering how hot the day is. Um, and we are running at uh, a very nice, even 750 and the engine is very smooth, as you can hear.